the Cranberry Cornstalk YouTube channel, a channel where we share our love for primitive decor. We make things, sell them. We have a fair page that is wholesale. We have an Etsy page and a regular website at thecranberrycornstalk.com. Check us out. We do primitive decor. We specialize in candles, black and wax, all kinds from taper hanging candles to jar candles to molds, melts. Um, room sprays, potpourri is our new thing that's coming. Those of you who haven't heard yet, we're working on some potpourri bags. Oh my gosh, guys, the smells are just amazing. We'll have them released this fall. And this week was no different. We made a ton of uh, jar poured candles for you, the black and wax. We also had a special project that we worked on. Um, about a year ago, my son and daughter-in-law had, uh, they were having a baby so we had a baby shower for them a little sprinkle because this is their third child but we had a little sprinkle for them and you know those great big vegetable cans where you buy the cans in bulk you buy the vegetables in bulk we had bought a bunch of that for the shower and i saved them of course i didn't know what i was going to save them for but i did and i finally made use of them this week this past week in the studio i made some americana drums so i'm going to walk you through the process there and show you how I made those. It just takes the cans, some fabric, um, the bungee rubber cords. I think I got mine at Michael's. Um, Mod Podge. There's always Mod Podge involved <laughs> around here. But it's the same process I used to make my jar candles. It's just Mod Podge with some paint in it to make it brown or like a dark stain. So that I just went ahead and used what I had mixed up for my candles because I have tons of it for that. So that's how the project unfolded the bungee string from Michaels and um, oh I painted one end of them with just uh, like a tan paint and then I kind of um, put a little bit dabs of the dark brown to make it kind of look rusty and I ended up spraying some uh, glue spray and some cinnamon on the top now the bottom part of the cans I did cover with felt I started out trying to tuck the felt in the edges and they, as you can see in the video I ended up wrapping the felt down around the edge of the can. I wrapped uh, the cans with some leather strips. Uh, when I started out, they were kind of scraggly looking with some scissor cutting edges, but I trimmed them up as well. Stained them with coffee stain and sprinkled them in cinnamon to make them look like aged leather. So that was a lot of fun. We did that this week. I made a ton of those, uh, somewhere close to a dozen of those cans we got made for sale and they'll be for sale at shaker woods in the last three weekends in august they'll also be on our website i believe i'll get them up on the website if i can um the last three weekends columbia and ohio and shaker woods and then in september and this is 2022 and then in september this the um pens colony in saxonburg pennsylvania we have a festival there too so i don't know how much of my inventory will make it to that point or if i'll sell out ahead of time on the website, but it's www.thecranberrycornstalk.com. We also have an Etsy page. We sell wholesale on fair as well. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me and uh, ask me anything about our sales, or if you just like the project and want to try to make it yourself at home, please feel free to leave a comment in the comments box below. I love the conversations we get into. I recently had someone ask me about the pecan. I think the last video that we did we had a pecan votive candle that we made. Um, they wanted to know how it burnt. Honestly, I have never tried to burn it. I didn't know how it burnt. I just know my recipe is good. And so I thought I'd video, I did a time-lapse video. So stay, stay tuned for that. I'll try to post it in the next video coming up. I did a time-lapse video of how I burned it. Now I did burn it in a little saucer, so it didn't really run anywhere. I don't know that it would. It seemed like to the very end, it stayed within its own candle realm. It didn't go outside. It didn't melt outside. I think when we got down to about a quarter inch of wax from the bottom, it did start to maybe run a little bit. But being in the candle pan that I had it in, you couldn't really tell if it did or not. So that's how the process was with that. That was the outcome that we got with the pecan votive candle. It, I was impressed. I didn't know how it would burn. I I know the tapers, they run a lot because they're made with some paraffin. The paraffin's a like, nice, strong, strong wax. It's strength in uh, making a molded form to make it, you know, stiff, but it's also 
strong in holding the scent. So the paraffin is stronger, but it's just not that healthy to breathe. So we don't really burn a lot of paraffin here. We mostly do soy. All of our candle, jar candles are soy and things like that. But the decorative ones, the ones that are a little firmer, we do have some paraffin in. They're just not good to burn ours like we do our jar candles. But these little pecan boves are adorable. Te please check out, if you haven't seen yet, check the video previously. We showed you how we made those. And they burned really well. They stay within the candle realm. And I think they'd be a really nice candle to set out for a table display. I wouldn't put them against, of course, a bare table. You'd have to have them in some kind of a candle pan. So I think that is everything. With that being said, thank you again for stopping back at the Cranberry Cornstalk YouTube channel. If we've earned your subscription and you like our videos, please hit the like button. Just slide your cursor up. Hit that thumbs up like button. Slide on over and hit go to the channel and hit subscribe. When you subscribe, click all. When you click all, all that does is tell you every time we release a video so you can see our next project and try to make it yourself. And make sure you come out and meet us at Penn's Colony in Shaker Woods this August and September to purchase some of our items. We look forward to seeing you. I just found out this week, I got to share this on my channel. I found out this week that Shaker Woods has a traffic of 150,000 people. How is that possible? I know I'd seen during the COVID when they had restrictions, they only allowed 3,500 people in the grounds at the time, which to me seemed like a lot, but I just got done reading that they usually expect crowds in 150,000 volume. Woo, that's a lot of crafts that I've got to get made. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Hey, thanks again for stopping back at the Cranberry Cornstalk YouTube channel. Let's get started.
close, but it's strange now. Dreams holding us closer. Meadows of our youth. A hundred and seven days. We're calling it backwards. Our dreams holding us closer. It's high.